unless you ride one of these. Because it's more easy for parking. Yeah. It's more speed, yeah. but you need to pay attention. There are signs of parking woe just about everywhere you turn in San Francisco. It's very challenging. It seems like I always get a parking space, but it's always stressful. That stress just might intensify since new SFMTA bus stop guidelines, originally proposed by the Board of Supervisors last year, were approved Tuesday afternoon. The new guidelines would require 20 feet of unobstructable space from the front door of each bus, meaning parking spaces like these would need to go away. It's concerning and it's a huge question mark. We've already lost so many street parking spaces with uh, parklets. The change is meant to increase accessibility, especially for those with mobility issues. Not all of the city's 3,500 bus stops are affected. Changes will be made to mostly the 1,200 flag stops. Those are stops where passengers have to step off the curb into the street to then get on the bus. From like taking the bus perspective, I like having more space. From like a driver's perspective, it's kind of annoying because there's less parking space and it's just like meaning that we have to circle more. SFMTA estimates it'll review bus stops over the next 12 to 24 months at a cost of three to five million dollars. Residents we spoke with today say there's no way to please both bus riders and drivers. Some uh, clever people come up with a solution that would be nice. So many will find alternate modes of transportation altogether. The great things about San Francisco and particularly a neighborhood like this is the walkability. In San Francisco, Dion Lim, ABC7 News.